Hi everybody, welcome back, SimCity! Check this out. Look at Sip City. Look at it. It's 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 really coming coming into its own. Look at this. It's maturing. It's like a fine wine now. Look at all these nice high rises. Look at Middleton Towers. Ontario North. I'm from Ontario. Uh, this game just knows everything about me. It's nuts. Uh, we've got some high-tech industry being built over here. I can't wait to see what they are. Probably all box factories. You never know. There's another one here. Um, and it looks like commercial is also expanding. Uh, land value is not the greatest on this side of the road because of all the shitty industrial. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to change that. Let's uh, increase the speed from turtle speed to llama speed. Fantastic. And, uh, and let's see what we got to do today. Uh, we could probably do with getting uh, some more oil. Uh, because we want to be able to upgrade this petroleum HQ and I think actually having about four oil fields will do it. Uh, how are we doing at the trade depot for oil? Okay, there's a thousand oil in there. We have capacity for two thousand. I think we should probably add another uh, depot for oil. Crude oil storage lot. Here we go. Two thousand bucks. Fifteen bucks an hour. Let's shove it back here. There. Look at that. Now we can store a ton of oil. Which is always nice. It's, al it's always good. It's always great and it's always good. Um, we want to try to sell 160,000 bucks worth of uh, oil in one day uh, so that we can get this upgrade. We'll be able to upgrade the actual building itself here, plus we'll be able to add a wing onto it. I think what we're going to go for... Oh, look at this. There's leaderboards. I think these are still disabled, actually. Yeah, see? No data available for the selected leaderboard petroleum. Uh, as part of... Um, as part of getting the servers online and, uh, and not preventing people from playing the game, they disabled a whole bunch of features. Uh, one being this uh, cheetah speed, still doesn't work as far as I can tell, and uh, also leaderboards. I, I guess it's just they had to like disable a bunch of stuff happening on the server so that people could access the servers and actually play. Um, so whatever, we'll, one day, one day we'll be on the leaderboard, no doubt in in the first place because I'm just making a shit ton of money off oil, and uh, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm the best. Uh, <laughs> that's that's not strictly true, but uh, but we'll go with it for now. Uh, so basically, we're gonna come in here once we get the upgrade. Uh, we'll edit it, and we'll be going for this uh, bastard right here, refining division. Look at that, four hundred thousand big ones is what we need to get this going. Um, and 400 bucks an hour, which we can't afford either at the moment. But when the time comes, we'll definitely be able to afford it. And we'll be able to start turning this oil into fuel. And we'll be able to make even more money. It'll be great. And once we've tapped out the entire map of oil, we'll be able to import oil from the global market at whatever the price is that we're exporting it now. Like 4,500 bucks or whatever. Uh, and use those imports to make fuel, which will sell for even more, and uh, that'll sustain our city. That'll be the industry of the city. That'll sustain it, and it'll also open up this huge center bit right here uh, for, for more stuff. We could put, like, some skyscrapers and maybe make this, like, a tourist destination or something. That would be pretty cool. So, uh, we will concentrate on doing that. It looks like these are being built now. We've got sludge co mechanics. Look at how cool the buildings look when they're in the set. See, we're in tech two now because of the college. And look at that. It's an oil company, uh, which is fitting because actually we're doing a lot with oil uh, here as well. Gelatine molds limited. Fantastic. I don't think these actually need any oil or anything. Uh, it doesn't seem to be. So it looks like we're still going to be storing the oil in these vats and shipping it out uh, at an increasing rate the more oil fields that we get. Um, but it's kind of cool. Look look at these. Ingram construction. It's great. Look at that. The density is going up already. Uh, and then once we get a university, we'll be able to advance to this third tech level. And that's going to be great. Um, and then we'll be able to make like components for computers and, and other shit like that. Aerospace components will help launch space shuttles into space through making components and stuff. Uh, which is great. That is just great. Uh, we still got a lot of demand for shoppers. Commercial businesses is not getting... Uh, I didn't even see that because it went away so quick. Uh, they're not getting enough shoppers. <laughs> zone more residential to attract more shoppers. Well, I don't think I can zone any more residential. I mean, look at... I've zoned a whole bunch here, uh, which isn't rising in density. Uh, it looks like some of this is... Uh, like middle class or medium wealth. Yeah, looks like a couple of them have decided to go medium. Uh, let's just take a look at the land value map. 
I see why, yeah. It's because of all these parks and stuff. Look, it's spilled off into this area. And if you remember, we set up this grid here for the low wealth, and that's remained low wealth. It's just this, like, sort of area in between the low wealth and this, this bustling medium wealth. That's quite nice, actually. It gives us a good a good coverage of, of both types of, uh, of wealth. What the hell? How did they run out of money? And why did they abandon the building? Get out of here, you abandoned building. We don't want your kind around here. We want full buildings. We need people, not not abandoned buildings, and not homeless people either. Let's make sure that there's no homeless people running around. I think it's crime map. Crime map, come on, crime map. There's no homeless people. Actually, I think it's the bulldozing thing. <laughs> I went into the wrong thing. Bulldozer. There are homeless people. God damn it. Let's, let's find out what he's doing. What is he doing down here? What are you doing, homeless guy? He's scrounging in garbage cans for food, and he came from Jetson Place, and now he's talking to a prostitute, and the prostitute has run down the street past the bus stop. Oh my god, look at... God knows where she's going. Okay, or, or maybe it was a him. Well, I'm, I'm just assuming it was a woman, but it could have been a him. Uh, how are we doing? 589 students yesterday. I think uh, we have 1,628 potential students in the area and uh, 1,229 students enrolled. Uh, I wonder if we're hitting capacity here. Are we? We can increase the capacity of the community college with this extension wing. Look at this. 12,000 bucks, 375 bucks an hour. Adds more classrooms and teaching jobs. Generously donated by Anon Y. Moose. That's right. Uh, if you don't get that, that, there's nothing I can do to help you. Uh, Anon Y. Moose. Uh, if you say that really fast, you might get it. Anon Y. Moose. No? Yeah? Just me? Maybe my mom? Or, or my dad? My mom and my dad together as a couple. Okay, I'll ask them. Next time I talk to them, I'll ask them. Okay, so um, hourly money is coming out of the hole very slowly. I think we have a whole bunch of construction projects on, and that's why we're still in hole. Or, or not. Oh, yeah. No, we do. There's a big industry going up here, uh, moving up to the next tech level, which is very good. Uh, let's just take a look. With these better tech levels, does that increase the land value? Slightly. I mean, these are really bad. Look at how red these are. But these ones aren't too, too bad. I mean, they're they're sort of bad. What does it say here? Kind of bad. I think if the... See the scale? Negative, kind of negative, neutral, kind of positive, and positive. I think, I think that's the naming for the scale. So these are kind of negative. Uh, but we could probably spruce them up anyway. And look at this. Because of City Hall, because of the police station, and because of this fire station, this area is actually not too too bad it's good for medium wealth however these people have decided not to go medium wealth all the same uh maybe we should try to get them to go medium wealth because actually the buildings look a lot nicer maybe if we get some trees or something in there that'd be nice uh nature or sports probably nature i'm gonna have to say nature because sports does not really fit in uh this area i don't think because it's like highly industrial and commercial let's put this little park here and see what happens okay so these people are like quite happy about it Still not happy enough to be uh, medium, though. I think we might need to do a little bit more than that. What's this? Ship... Oh, no, I lied. Look at that. These guys have upgraded to medium. These guys, not quite. Okay, let's get another park on the side here. Maybe we could put, like, a pond for the police officers. That's... Oh, see? That, that's why I'm the best mayor. I'm just saying right now... I'm a good mayor because I even considered putting a pond next to the police station so that the officers, when they're not out on the beat catching crims, they can go there to this pond, they can eat their sandwiches, because, you know, their wives probably made them some sandwiches before they came to work. And I, I think that's a nice thing. We're going to connect this thing with a wavy path park. There we go. A wavy path park. And then we're going to edit this sucker right here. Edit it, and we're going to put a pond. There we go. Look at this. Now the police are going to be so happy. They're going to be like, oh, the best mayor ever. We can eat our sandwiches by a pond. And that should... Yeah, look at these guys. Medium wealth. Fantastic. Run on white collar shirts as new office buildings open for business. Great. Oh, these guys too. Fantastic. There's a big fire burning behind City Hall. And the fire truck is actually just caught in traffic. It looks like everybody's caught in traffic. Look at... They're just going around and around because the traffic jam is so bad. And there's nothing we can do. The Barnes residence is just absolutely belching fire out of every single window. I don't think anyone survived that. There's no possible way. Look at all the fire. 
Old Mama Barnes, probably dead. Uh, Papa Barnes as well. Hopefully they didn't have any kids because we can't afford to lose any more people in this city. Um, but I think it might have happened. Look at the fire trucks. Despite the fact that sirens are blaring, none of these cars are pulling over to lift. Okay, there we go. The Barnes residents, they might be saved after all. If they're not, like, absolutely barbecued in there. Look at the firemen go. Oh my god. All over the place. And it was all because of a big traffic jam, which is really a goddamn shame. Look at these commercial buildings going up. Oh, we got medium wealth commercial going up. Marginal returns. <laughs> Great name for a company. God, that's fantastic. We really need to work on getting our money per hour up now uh, because it, it keeps dropping. I, I know we'll go back up a little bit once these are built and they, they start people start getting jobs. What's the demand for now? High industrial demand. Oh, okay, so look at this. We've actually brought down low wealth and medium wealth demand substantially through making things so high density. Look at all the people living in here. 42,000 people right now living in Sip City. That is nuts. And it looks like now uh, the Barnes residence has been uh, evacuated entirely uh, because of the fire. So we're gonna knock it down. Sorry, sorry Barnes family, but you know, it's just the way that it goes. Uh, there's another abandoned building somewhere apparently as well. Where, where the hell could that be? I'm gonna find it. Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. Oh, there it is. Look, it was hiding. <laughs> it was hiding behind Hagen's tax preparation. Well, I found you, you bitch. And, and now you're gone. Hagen's tax preparation is not going to save you this time. Okay, so our next big milestone for City Hall upgrade, 75,000 residents. That's a lot of residents. Jesus. Um, we'll get there though, eventually. Uh, maybe, well, in Sip City, we should get there in Sip City. Like I said, once the oil is all tapped out, look at these bastards. Look, it's like an army of them. Holy shit. Green plum bobs. Pick up 10 tons of recyclables in your city in a day. That's good. Wow, that's a lot of recyclables. Those trucks must be very busy. How are we doing? Uh, 1,080. Oh, it's, it, it's climbing. It's only 3 p.m., so they still got some time to, uh, to, to reach it. Look, our garbage collection is very good as well. Um, I don't know why there's like an, a massive army of people. I think it's something to do with the fact that we place bus stops in front of all these uh, <laughs> these oil wells. So now just a multitude of people turn up to work at these bus stops and then decide to go walking back through the city. You'll probably notice once you start placing bus stops all over the place, you just notice these massive herds of people walking around on the sidewalks. I don't think they've quite fixed this yet because these people all seem to... You'll see... Look at how many people just came out of the Tunic household. Like a billion people. There's no way all those people live in there. And I think what's happening is <laughs> all these people just sort of walk down the street and they all try to go into the first house that's like empty. So it's not even the Brookses entering the Brooks residence. It's just random people from this massive army of people combing the sidewalks of Sip City. Uh, hopefully they'll fix that though. I, I like to think that, you know, the actual barns and the brooks and, and all those people will come back to their own houses. And um, I don't know if you remember SimCity 4 in Rush Hour. You used to be able to actually click on a house and it would show you the path that they take to get to work and stuff like that. I hope that like makes some appearance in this as well. Because for me, that's what made SimCity 4 so amazing. You could like plan out all these awesome traffic systems and stuff. One-way roads. Oh, God. One-way roads. You could actually make highways, not just regional like highways like this one. Like, look at how bad this is. The avenue is a six-lane, right? Highway is, is an eight-lane. So this eight-lane highway dumps into a six-lane avenue. Already, that causes traffic problems but look at right here is the neck is twain and the same thing happens eight lanes dumping into six lanes of avenue so like right here is just going to be a massive congestion point uh, like no matter what it doesn't matter what you do in your cities that's just going to be a huge congestion point right and we'll see once we actually establish twain or whatever we're going to call it uh, and start building some more residential and stuff over there it, it's going to happen it's going to be a goddamn mess but it's fine i'm they're, they're rolling out patches and fixing stuff so it should be absolutely fine Wow, we taught 830 students yesterday at college, and uh, that should mean now that I think most of our industry is going to be tech level 2. I think, if not all, yeah, look at all of it. Cutting edge silo, fermented byproducts, <laughs> sun glaze lotion, ah, oh, fantastic. Uh, we got all these medium wealth uh, places. 
that have come up, like the Conglomacorp, uh, which needs workers. Marginal returns is still there, making a lot of sales as well, apparently, which is very good. Uh, <laughs> 1100 Hanover Street, fantastic. And a vacant business. So things are definitely shaping up. Things are changing as well. Look, some of these tall buildings look really cool. And actually, this is like a, like shaping up to be a not bad area of town, uh, commercial-wise. I know there's like all this industry in the back here, but it's still, still cool. Look at these buildings. This one looks like the one from Ghostbusters. You know, with the one, the Gozer, the the big Gozer fight on top. Look, if we zoom in, you can see there's not quite the uh, the Gothic architecture on, on top of the Gozer building, but you know, it's got these, it's got these air conditioned units on the top and uh, this like access hatch. It's kind of cool. It reminds me of Walking Dead a bit as well. You know, the one where, where Merle's on top and uh, and Rick leaves him. He has to cut off his own hand. It's kind of like that. I except the roof was a lot bigger, I think. Um, but that's not going to happen in Sim City. Don't worry. There's not going to be a zombie apocalypse or anything. What's happening with these places? Okay, they're both under construction. I thought they were abandoned for a minute. I was, I was going to actually get very, very angry. Uh, let's go for medium wealth on these ones, too. What's our demand for medium wealth? commercial oh it's not we've actually got demand for low wealth commercial uh surprisingly i thought the demand for medium wealth was skyrocketed last time or, or last time a couple episodes ago anyway um but we seem to have met that as well so it's just industry really that we got a lot of demand for um well we could probably place some behind here um not in the way of the, of the garbage dump uh, if we can help it. Maybe just there. Oh, that's enough. Look, there's an, a new industry going up anyway. Uh, that should give us a little bit more residential demand. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> residential has skyrocketed again. We don't have enough medium wealth residential. I'm not sure if that's because... Well, it could just be because this building is actually going up. I, although, I don't know if that's medium wealth. Let's just take a quick look. Good God. There's always stuff to do. No, that's low wealth. What the hell? These places should actually start turning into high-rises as well. Maybe some of these places. Look at this. The, da the Dale Extended Stay and Olive West Efficiencies. <laughs> Imagine living in a place called Olive West Efficiencies. That, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Um, we need to probably start thinking about getting... Uh, this is all low wealth. Oh, look, the density is rising for all this low wealth, too, and that's probably why our low wealth demand... Well, it's going up again, though. Jesus Christ. So much demand. We're, we're going to have to start thinking about getting Twain uh, made and populated so that people can start commuting here, uh, which is going to really shit up this avenue big time. But it's got to happen. It's it's going to have to happen soon. We're back up in the green, which is very good. We're making money. And in actual fact, we're not too far off being able to afford all these upgrades. Look at how close we are towards this next goal. 127,506 out of 160,000 petroleum daily profit. Let's get another oil field down. That, that seems like a good thing to do now. And then we'll be able to reach that goal at least. And we'll have even more oil, which would be nice. Uh, so here we go. Oil well. We'll get our last oil well. I think four oil wells is going to be more than enough. So we can probably start using some of the other space to build other stuff. Let's uh, let's get a low density road in here then. I don't know if it's going to let me plop it down on this because I had some trouble with this last time for some reason. Don't ask me why. Uh, oh, this this is fine. Look, look, it fits perfectly. Great. 173,000 uh, barrels, which is good. Bam. There we go. Another oil well. I can't believe it. That's that's the fourth oil well that we put down. Let's put a bus stop down here so that people can get to work. And uh, let's just pimp it out straight up all the way, uh, right from the get-go, just like we did with the other one. It's going to be great. We'll put the sign out here. Let's get all of these trucks, delivery trucks down because we're going to need them. Here we go. Uh, let's get these pump jacks up. Oh, look at this. We've got so much money, it doesn't even matter. We're just putting, like, a ton of pump jacks down. Extend that out a little bit further and get even more pump jacks. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Money cube. Have a total income of 15,000 bucks an hour. That's nuts. That is nuts. We're going to get the other achievement as well for the expenses per hour because, goddamn, we've got a lot of expenses as well. There we go. That has been fully pimped out. And we're still looking good. We've still got very healthy bank balance. And our money per hour is still high and probably rising. Uh, and that's probably owing to the fact that, wow, look at all the high rises. Check out this view. Jeez, what a great view. Actually, let's see what the view is like from college. We'll zoom all the way in. Just sort of pan around here. See, we're actually in the college now. Oh, look at this. 
it, it's kind of shitty that there's all this grass and stuff here. We can maybe line this with trees. I like how you can just see these oil pumps pumping away furiously here. And then these nice high rises in the distance. Look at that. The Conglomacorp is making lots of sales, which is very good. Uh, however, 1100 Hanover Street has no shoppers, uh, which is terrible. But look at this. Look at Middleton Towers. Looks very nice. And Ontario North. Where's the shopping in this town? They were doing well, but then they just decided at the spur of a moment, where the hell is all the shopping? They, they just became very angry very quickly. Uh, we still don't have any ultra-rich people. Uh, let's, let's think about getting, like, maybe this side of the, the burbs ultra-rich. Looks like there's a little fire here. It's okay, the fire trucks managed to make its way in. The Vasquez household. Uh, I don't, the fire doesn't look like it's raging enough, uh, for them to be affected by it, having, having to move out or anything like that. I don't think the house will go abandoned, which is good news. Uh, that reminds me though, we could probably do with getting some more fire trucks. Uh, because the city's getting bigger and we have two fire trucks that are both out on patrol at the moment. So, getting a third will be good. We've got fire coverage available for our neighbors once we finally get some neighbors and we're still very healthy. Uh, bank balance wise, which is good. Of course, we've got the sign on the fire station now too, uh, which a lot of people said, uh, Sips, you stupid son of a bitch, why didn't you put the sign on the fire station? Nobody's going to know it's a fire station. They're going to walk by, the bell's going to be ringing, the fire truck's going to come blazing out of the doors and hit everybody in front because they didn't know it was a fire station. But now that the sign's there, don't worry, that's never going to happen. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. We want to see the land value map here. Okay, look at this. This is ideal right now for medium wealth. So if we go in here and we get some plazas, do we want plazas or formal? Look at formals, nice though. Look at this fenced fountain plaza. That's fantastic. We can get that like along the road here maybe. Like here, oh, it won't let me plop. It's too, <laughs> it won't let me plop. It's too, uh, it's too big. It's too big to plop in between here. <laughs> what about this one? Is that the same one? No, it's a slightly smaller one. Uh, what about a small fountain park? Does that fit a little bit better? It's got much better coverage, and actually it's probably the coverage that we need. Like right here. And look, there's a basketball court there too. Let's do that. Let's get this here. It'll beat back some of the negative influence coming from the water pumping station, which is what we want. Great. Look at this. We'll edit this sucker now. And then we'll add some fenced fountain plazas to it. Look at this. We'll add them like here. And let's add another one here. These aren't too expensive. They're only 600 bucks and they only cost a little bit to maintain. Uh, the problem is with parks though is when you have homeless people in your um, in your city, they'll they'll sort of come to these parks and, uh, and live in them. <laughs> Which puts people off. Especially, you know, the people living in this neighborhood who are gonna benefit from uh, the massive increase in land value. Look at that. So we've got a couple of pockets of good for high wealth, but we still have, it's really increased the, the land value of the entire area for medium wealth, for sure. Uh, but actual high wealth, there's only little pockets here. None of them are really touching any of the houses. Oh, look at that. We've got 50,000 people. Population boom. Look at the achievements are just rolling in like nonstop now. God, this is great. So we need to get some of these little pockets to extend out to these houses so that they turn into mansions. Uh, that's that's the goal. What about plazas? Can we get like a simple walkway to connect all this? We might need to actually knock down some of these houses in order to do it. Uh, but it could be what we need to actually uh, extend it around. Let's see. Can we get this like right in here? Or maybe this one, double walkway? It's a bit too big. Actually, it connects both sides that way though. But this one, uh, this one's a little bit better. Or maybe a medium sculpture garden. Oh, that looks nice. God, you gotta love all these. Look at this, urban green space. Oh shit, yeah, that's gonna take up like the whole thing. What about this one? Tiered urban green, oh my God, that's even better. Holy shit, that's gonna do it. Let's put it right in here. Kablam, oh, look at that. Oh, we got a mansion. There we go. Classier Sims move into the city. Sand through my fingers. Total expenses of 15000 per hour. It's happened. I, I, I said it would happen, and it has happened. All right, so we've got a mansion going up now, and that's thanks to this sucker here, the tiered urban green space, which actually cost a lot to put down. Uh, how much was it? 2,400 bucks, and it cost us 240 bucks an hour to keep it maintained, but well worth it, because now 
Uncle Phil's house has been built. And now the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air can move into Sip City. Um, he can move over here from Philadelphia, where he was born and raised. And he spent most of his days on one of these bastards right here, the basketball court. Uh, and it's good. It's like right within... It's, it's only across the street behind Uncle Phil's house, which is actually now called the Cruise Estate. Oh, fantastic. Maybe, uh, maybe Tom lives there. Get it? Tom, Tom Cruise? No? Just me? Okay. Um... It's also Penelope Cruz, which, where that is actually her last name, but, uh, you know, Tom. Look at that. I think we need more delivery trucks. We've got four delivery trucks, and look, they're not delivering any of this oil. We're all maxed out on oil. And I think, actually... Oh, look, all the pump jacks have stopped. Full storage. Full storage. Full store. I can't believe it. That's not gonna... Look at that. That's not gonna do very well towards our next upgrade. Uh, well, at least, actually, now it's, it's emptied out. Thanks to the delivery truck. Uh, I don't think we've got any more space in here. Oh no, we can probably get one in here. Let's get one more. We're gonna need it as well. Oh no, the limit's reached. Plastics, what's this? Freight shipping? We're gonna need another trade depot. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. We should probably just set up a new trade depot back here and, uh, and have it just have oil. And then we can send plastics and freight shipping, get rid of these two oil things over here. Um... Let's do that next episode. We'll do that next episode. We've probably done enough for this one. Uh, it's been a while. We've done a little bit. We've done some bits and pieces. We've got a mansion. Look at that. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air up in this, up in Sip City. Uh, nice and close to the mayor's house, which is which is my house, which is great. I think, uh, I might be wrong, but I think we've actually gotten the, yeah, mayor's mansion. Look at that. We unlocked it. 30,000. We'll place that next episode as well. For now, as usual, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back next episode to do a couple of bits and pieces. Hopefully we'll be able to upgrade this petroleum HQ. Hopefully we can hit that target. We'll have to sort it out with that trade depot. Um, we'll put down the mayor's, um, mansion as well. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to live yet. Maybe out of town somewhere. That would be nice. Like, out here. Maybe we can make, like, a really nice, uh, residential area here. And just sort of block it off. I don't think we need to worry about ore and coal. I think we can just concentrate on oil and we'll be fairly rich off the back of that so this area here is is now open for residential and stuff we can start meeting some of this demand that would be great okay i'll leave you there i will love you and leave you as usual thanks for watching and i'll see you next time